Welcome back. There's a new robotic technology that's helping to save lives at a Bay Area hospital. Doctors at BayCare St. Anthony's are using the new surgery system to diagnose and remove lung cancer nodules in record time. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck introduces you to the woman who says she's still alive thanks to persistent doctors and evolving technology. Cancer. 1.6 million Americans hear that terrifying discovery from their doctors every year. And for Elaine Healy, it's a diagnosis she's received twice. It wasn't something you want to hear, of course, but um, I, I, I just felt blessed, actually, that if it is going to be something, get it out. Last year, her doctor expressed concern about scar tissue in her lung. He sent Healy to Baycare St. Anthony's Hospital, where doctors were able to use an ion robotic system to biopsy her lung. I was able to determine that you know, I did in fact have cancer. Less than a month later, Dr. Vinny Samuel was able to die mark the cancerous nodule. Just watch how the robotic system helps to guide doctors through the small passageways in the lung to the cancerous lesion. That same day and without having to wake Healy up from anesthesia, doctors remove the cancer. The ion robot has allowed us to uh, reach out further into the lung where we were unable to previously. Dr. Samuel says the ion robot is more precise, accurate, and can get deep into the lung tissue with minimal invasion. It's another tool uh, in terms of diagnosing cancer and hopefully diagnosing earlier. Healy's operation was just four months ago, but she's back to her active lifestyle and says she feels great. They saved my life. Baycare St. Anthony's Hospital received the robotic technology last year. Since then, Dr. Samuel has already treated 60 patients with it. Early detection is key. Lung cancer is the deadliest type of cancer. Less than 25% of people survive five years after diagnosis. But Dr. Samuel says if it's found in stage one, 90% of people survive. My mom died at 66 from, from lung cancer and what an impact it had on us. And so I'm just so thankful that I'm not going to be doing that to my kids. In St. Petersburg, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.